Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to Achieve and Leave episode 1 of not season 3 yet. But the Euro 2020 tournament, we're playing with England, of course, in Euro 2020. However, we do have to deal with Season 3 in this episode. That being, applying for the job at our new club. The vote is up on your screen. <clears throat> As you can see, one-sided is an understatement. 71% in favour of going to Borussia Dortmund. So we shall apply for that job. They finished second in the Bundesliga in the season just gone. The board were expected, or the board expected the manager to win the league title. Royce is still there, as you can see. Obviously, it's only season two into season three, so I would presume the majority of the squad are still there. I will apply for the job, and we shall um, we'll wait and see what happens in due course. One thing that was mentioned in the comment section of the last episode, and one thing that I am punching myself for is obviously I'm manager of England I've selected my squad what I forgot to do was take Henry Edwards our scout future star from season one to Euro 2020 I've already selected my squad I did it at the end of the last episode and uh, uh okay well that was quick uh we're going to Borussia Dortmund I'll cover that again in episode one of season three when we get to that we'll have the group stage today and then the knockout rounds tomorrow. And then season three fully will start on Tuesday. At least that's the plan. Obviously, if I get grouped, then I won't be able to do that. But uh, we... Have I got all three group stages are before, Yeah, all three group stage games are before the end of the season. Although it is the very last day of the season where we play the Netherlands. So, rather annoyed at myself for forgetting to call up Henry Edwards. I apologise about that. Uh, but we will be at Borussia Dortmund next season. But I won't delve into that yet. We shall wait. Actually, I have a Borussia Dortmund kit somewhere. Somewhere. I shall try and find that for episode one of season three uh, fully. But for now, the deal is done. We are going to Borussia Dortmund. However, we have international football to concentrate on at present. The same impetus or the same premise applies internationally as it does domestically. So... I will play this tournament as England, then resign, and by the time World Cup 2022 comes around, I'll get a different international manager's job. Paul Pogba scored a bloody hat-trick. What game has he done that in? France won 4-1 against Ireland. Rip. Right, we have Hungary first, then it was Scotland, and then it'll be the Netherlands, and then that will be the, literally the end of Season 2. Because it's on the very final day. My starting lineup for the majority of games will be as follows. Rashford, Kane, Sterling. Lingard, Ali, Dyer, Rose, Maguire, Tarkovsky, Walker. Pickford is 86 rated at this stage. I'm tempted to put Oxlade Chamberlain in for Jesse Lingard. But for the time being, I won't. Actually, I will put Luke Shaw in for Danny Rose. Uh, and then the rest of the squad, as you can see on the screen. Sorely tempted to put Jaden Sancho into the starting lineup. But I won't. I do hope he's still at Borussia Dortmund. Uh, I also have John Stones, Michael Keane, uh, sorry, Will yeah, Michael Keane. I always get Michael Keane and Will Keane mixed up. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Joe Gomez, Butland, Oxley Germian, Demarai Gray, Ross Barkley, Ryan Sessignon, Jaden Sancho. So I'm hoping that this team will be good enough. See, you know what? I'm going to start Jaden Sancho on the left and Rashford could be my sub striker. I'm going to switch them. Sterling can start on the left. Right. Hungary, Scotland, Netherlands. Into season three, hopefully, still have the knockout rounds to play. Here's Nagy. Out to Saloy. Nice tackle by Kyle Walker. Where we got uh, Atletico Madrid, of course, for the final half of the season. Kyle Walker will have to close down Saloy here. Lunge. Well, he's done well, but unfortunately it's led to a corner for Hungary. He might be able to take advantage of this. You feel if Hungary are to score against this, it would perhaps come from a set piece or something like that rather than open play a corner a free kick hopefully not a penalty he says this goes for a tackle in the box Jordan Pickford will pick that up and will pump it out wide looking for Raheem Sterling that is a beautiful ball Pickford's distribution in real life is very good and evidently he's keeping that going in FIFA too slight deflection on the pass there that meant that Raheem couldn't quite take it as I wanted him to 
Play it about nicely. Well, look how he came through that gap. Kane's got Jaden Sancho up wide. Little turn. Is Carl Walker on the overlap? Kane's making the moves in the middle. It's going to go to Raheem. Oh, I tried to knock that back into the middle of the box and he's hacked it away there, the defender. Dyer knocks that down well. Delhi quickly through the gap to Harry Kane. Around the corner, Jaden Sancho. Lovely turn. Around the corner, Delhi. Ali! Oh, off the bar. So very close to 1 0 England. Will turn here. Sterling inside to Harry Kane. Across to Delhi Ali. Jaden Sancho spins well and swings and misses at thin air. Okay, very nearly 1 0 up, but not quite. Back to Nagy. Kleinheiser. Oh, he's powered his way through. And Zalo finds Kalmar. Good save, Jordan Pickford. Very good save, Jordan Pickford. Save my bacon a little bit there. They just kind of powered through. Nagy will deliver. It's a better corner than it was the last time he had one, but same result. Defender heads it away. Sterling will get to that before it goes out. Knock it inside. Nice ball. Dyer. There's Jesse Lingard. Harry Kane is here. Sterling. Jaden Sancho's on the run. And the man is in the middle looking for Jesse Lingard, but the ball isn't good enough. Five minutes to go till half time. We have had the better chances. We've hit the woodwork, but there's yet to be a goal in our group stage campaign. Cross there to Eric Dyer. Two minutes of added time. I'd love to get 1-0 up just before the break, Sterling. if we can, but it will have to happen now. Sterling's played in round the corner, and Delhi is in the middle waiting, as is Jaden Sancho at the back post. But that was the shot that he came up with in that scenario. He might well hold his head in his hands. That was quite simply not good enough from Jaden Sancho, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And hopefully he'll be better next time. He is right-footed, isn't he? Yeah. And of five-star skills, of course. But only a three-star weak foot. But he did take that on his right. It was just uh, rather terrible. What are his volleys? 68. Yeah, that makes sense. Kalmar. Shalai. Kalmar. Nice tackle by Harry Maguire. Needed that. They keep getting in dangerous positions, Hungary. So far, they haven't punished me. But I am slightly nervous that if they continue to do so, that eventually something will happen for them in front of goal. We keep trying to do our bit in front of goal. And Lingard will look for Jaden Sancho, but not find him. Was a question of offside there. Drop back with Jesse. But get caught on it by Kalmar. I have got changes in the offing waiting to be made. Jaden Sancho is going to go off and Rashford's going to come on. And Oxley Chamberlain's going to enter the fray for Jesse Lingard. We've got just over 20 minutes to try and get ourselves in front here. Sterling could be... Vital in that. Lovely run by Harry Kane to take the defenders away. And Jaden Sancho can be played around the corner. Can he make up for his first half miss? Yes, he can. Jaden Sancho makes it England 1, Hungary 0. We've had to wait till the 70th minute, but the breakthrough has been made. That run by Harry Kane was crucial to the creation of that chance. Drawing the defenders across just meant that Jaden Sancho was in space. Unfortunately, he's not got his game face. Which is really frustrating. I think I made this save just before his game face was added to the game, which is really annoying. But regardless, it's uh, England 1, Hungary 0. In fact, it was Sessignon I brought on, not Rashford, for uh, Jaden Sancho out wide. His last action of the game was to score the goal to put us 1 0 up here. That's good football from Hungary. And Adam Zeloy has got the turn on James Tarkovsky. Nicely done. By the central defender. Hopefully that's enough to slow them down. They will still get a chance. No, they won't. Eric Dyer cuts it out. Good defending from us throughout that game. England won. Hungary nil. A slim margin of victory, but victory nonetheless. We dominated the majority of the game. Had plenty of chances. And in the end, Jaden Sancho made a breakthrough. Even after he could have done it slightly earlier on in the game. Up next for us, Scotland. Scotland's starting lineup is a 4-5-1. With Callum Patterson up top on his own. James Forrest and Ryan Fraser out wide, which will be difficult to deal with the extra pace. Obviously, Andy Robertson at left back is very, very good as well. Should be a winnable game, though, certainly. That's the team that I'm playing, fully rotated, other than Jordan Pickford in goal. Still very much a strong side. Breaker through the gap to Christie. There's McGinn. And it is the opening goal. Scotland won. England, nil. That was a hell of a hit from John McGinn. Well, he took it on, didn't he? I don't know anything about him. He was recommended to me in the RTG save. But the curse of the first time strikes, strikes again. Nice tackle by John Stones. We'll look to send Rashford away. Come on, Marcus. Use that pace. Good lad. And finish. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a 
chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the Marcus Rashford, take a long, hard look at yourself. That should go in every time. Session does well. John Stones. Here's Ross Barkley. We use the right back first. Then go around the corner there to Demarai Gray. Then stand the cross up into the middle. Looking for Rashford who arrives. And nods it tamely into McLaughlin's hands. It's going to be 1-0 Scotland at half time. Ross. Stay Chamberlain in space. Looking for Rashford at his feet. Marcus Rashford's shot blocked. I've had more chances in this game than I did in the entirety of the one against Hungary. And I cannot score. Oh, brilliant header, but straight at the goalkeeper. I rotated against Scotland because, rather understandably, I wanted my full first team to be 100% fit for the game against the Netherlands. As it happens, we might end up losing here against Scotland. Lovely block by Joe Gomez, and he gets to the second ball again as well. That was really well done. Barkley across to Oxlade Chamberlain. Running around the outside there is Ryan Sessignon, and we'll play him in. We'll look to accelerate in behind. Rashford is there in the middle again. Looking to get it to him. There we go, Marcos. That's more like it, isn't it, boy? 1-1. One, one. Great finish. Hey, Smith. Throw in there to Kearney. Cross to Christie. Or to Tom Kearney. Dinks it in. Patterson. Scotland have won it with the last kick of the game. Right then. Okay. Brilliant. Scotland are going to beat me here, and I am. Um, well, how has he got? How has he gotten to that? The physics there of Joe Gomez as he jumps are really odd. He jumps up and then somehow drifts backwards, despite jumping up. Not keen on that whatsoever. Game. Oh, I can't believe that. There's a final whistle. Right. A win against the Netherlands will still send us through. I can't quite believe that's happened like that. Fuck my life. Lineup for the Netherlands is a strong one. Selesson in goal, De Ligt and Van Dijk at the centre back. Frankie de Jong and Genie Van Oldham holding with David Klaassen, Quincy Promes and Memphis Depay. The main players in their front four. I don't know anything about Hatterbor, Haps or Dumfries. I just know Haps is quite quick at left back, but I don't know much about their wing backs, if I'm honest. The rest of the squad, though, is very strong. They've won their opening two games. The Netherlands. We find ourselves second on three points with Scotland third on three points on goal difference and then uh, bottom of the table are Hungary on nothing. So if Hungary beats Scotland, doesn't matter what happens here, we go through. If uh, we draw and Hungary beats Scotland, doesn't matter what happens Oh, it doesn't matter what happens there. We go through. Oh, go on, Jesse. If we win here, we're certainly through. And we won it up already. Oh, Jesse Lingard. That's absolute perfection. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, the animation just doesn't translate in game, I'm afraid. Never mind. England won. Netherlands nil. That's exactly what we needed. That's a book. Looking for the run of Memphis. His pace terrifies me, I'll be honest. As does his dribbling. He's done really well there. And Frankie de Jong's touch lets him down, unfortunately. Jesse Lingard needed to win that. Eric Dyer's touch lets him down. And now we're in trouble again. Yes, Deli Alley. Good defensive work. It's what we like. It's what we need. Sancho, just hold the ball up. Needed to find a teammate, though. Klaassen will get that to Hatterbor. Still, the Dutch come forward. Still, we might find ourselves getting scored upon. Hatterbor, oh, cross comes in, but Shaw blocks it. Corner for Frankie de Jong. Delivery, delivery, delivery. Win that header. Well, um, Harry Maguire. Oh, slabhead. Slabhead. Oh, my God, I can't say it. Slabhead at it again. There we go. Hatterbor, Frankie de Jong. Around the gap to Memphis. Good block. Oh, it's fell kindly for David Klaassen, I think that was. But Jordan Pickford is on hand to make a great stop. That will keep us in front for half time. Big save by our number one in goal. That might be the save that sees us through to the knockouts. Especially if we can score now. Jaden Sancho! Was he onside? No, he wasn't. Brilliant finish, though. Promise, Frankie de Jong. I'm trying to tackle him. Harry Kane does do enough, but. Still drops back to an orange shirt. At half time, it was Hungary 1, Scotland 0. So results are going 
the way we need them to for us to be able to get through to the knockout rounds and maybe even I don't know what uh, the Netherlands goal difference was maybe even if we get a second top the group which might give us a more favourable draw Jesse Lingard tries to get that cross to Raheem Sterling who was in space but just cannoned off the heels and calves of the men in front of him Delhi. Oh, that was terrible from Deli Ali. Awful pass. Class into Memphis. Now we might be in trouble with fewer people back. Hopefully Luke Shaw has held up Bergvine there for a little while and stolen the ball off him. And we'll take the free kick, will we? Yes, we will. Well played, Luke Shaw. Superb defending. Memphis out to Bergvine. Oh, that's a great cross. That was a wonderful goal. That cross from Bergwijn was outrageous. And the run from deep, all he had to do there, was it Frankie de Jong? It was. All he had to do there was just get it on target. And certainly, certainly, it was 1-1. Oh, that was a ridiculous cross. It's one of the best we've seen in FIFA 19 so far. Oh, Raheem, what was that, mate? Let's see, promise... That's great football from the Dutch. They're turning it up now. Another delivery into the middle. Slab heads there. Maguire does well. Raheem tried to get to that, but failed miserably. He's Dumfries. Ball to Klaassen. Bergwijn. He's in the middle. He can't be whipping in deadly crosses, I suppose. Renke de Jong to Quincy Promise. And all deflected. Who did that deflect off? Tarkovsky for a corner, I think. Indeed, it did. Quincy Promise to deliver. Deli Ali's on near post duty. Tony Vilhena has just come on for the Dutch. Grasp has spun well there, but Haps has taken it off him. If I'd have just been able to get round him, we might have been able to get ourselves away on a counter for a second. As it happens, they're the ones on the offence and look more likely, like, more likely to score. But now we're on the counter. Raheem the Dream. Marcus, make me a run, please. Oh, it's a great ball. Marcus Rashford in behind. Virgil van Dijk's closing him down. That is an unreal tackle that will needlessly and unnecessarily see Virgil van Dijk booked and a penalty given. I think he got the ball first. I'm pretty sure he got the ball first before the man. Oh, like you can't tell from that angle. Let me know in the comment section down below. Is that a penalty or is it not? Unfortunately, I've taken Harry Kane off. Deli Alley is, I believe, the best penalty taker we have on the field. So, from one Tottenham player's shoulders to another, Deli Alley scores! England 2, the Netherlands 1, knockout rounds of Euro 2020. Here we come. There's the final whistle. Big, big talking point at the end of the game with that booking for Van Dijk and the penalty. A, was it a penalty? B, if it was a penalty... Should it, uh, I guess no, double jeopardy rule. It shouldn't be a red card. Hungry two Scotland nil. Jeeps, Hungry battered them. We don't finish top. We fi oh, I thought if that's the league. I was like, hang on a minute. Uh, European Championships. We don't finish top. We finish second. So we will face either France, Italy or Belgium in the knockout rounds. In the first game of the knockout rounds. Anyway, season review. Uh, could not be happy with the performance so far. Thanks, lads. Really pleased with my performance at Dortmund so far. <laughs> it will be the knockout rounds of Euro 2020 in tomorrow's episode. And then we shall start season three of the Achieve and Leave on Tuesday. When we shall attack the transfer window with Borussia Dortmund. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more. There was a, an RTG video. Or there will be an RTG video later on this evening or this afternoon. So make sure you check the channel page for that. I'll see you next time.